You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. Greetings, 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 my visionary dreamers. How is everybody doing on Let's Talk Sunday? This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, from the world, from some real boo shit, y'all. And you are watching and listening to Chronicles of Living podcast show and TV. I'm doing both at the same time today. So, kill, well, I'm not going to say kill two birds with one stone, but, you know, free two birds with one stone. Let's say it that way. So, um, today... To you newcomers out here, I just want to welcome you. Welcome you with all the love that's in my heart that I can give y'all from afar. I welcome you guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for viewing um, Chronicles of Living. And just um, briefly, this show is about everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life, extraordinary folk out here doing the damn thing the best way we can. And basically what I talk about is just freeing yourself from those deep-rooted issues that stop you from accomplishing your dreams, your visions, your goals, and um, so that you can be successful. That's what this show is all about. And today I have two, two special, special guests. I have my cousin here, Walter Scott Williams, on, well, my left, maybe you're right, and my son for the first time, mm-hmm. Zamir Dion Williams. And today they're going to talk about the topic with me. When you dream it, believe it. When you dream it, believe it, y'all. You know, if it's in your dreams, if it's in your visions, you you just can't sleep, you can't let it go, believe it. Believe that this is the thing that is maybe your purpose or maybe it is your time to do that thing um, for that time in your lifespan or maybe forever. We just don't know. But just when you dream it, believe it. So I'm going to let, um, because he's the oldest, I'm going to let... Walter started off just to give you a, a little brief description, tell you who he is and what he does, and share a little bit about one of his dreams. Okay, so Walter, you have the floor. All right, mm-hmm. hello, hello, welcome everyone. All right, just a little bit about myself. Uh, so I'm currently a business consultant in supply chain. Um, I work for one of the top four consulting companies, um, you know, in the world basically um, at the moment. So really learning a lot of things there, but I also have a lot of my hidden dreams and goals uh, that I'm also working on developing, uh, such as my independent consulting firm. Um, I'm also a car blogger, so uh, very high interest in the automotive industry, also uh, an investor in real estate. So really working on manifesting all of that. And, you know, really we're, what we're going to talk about is it doesn't happen overnight. Nope. You know, it's, it's definitely a process, mm-hmm. constantly working on myself, working on overcoming the fears, overcoming the challenges that really step in your way when you're really manifesting these different goals and in pursuing them and, and making them come into flourishing. So Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And so briefly what me and um, Walter was talking about, look, I'm a little torn up, Mike. Oh, sorry, y'all. But what we were talking about earlier was um, the fact that you can have dreams on you and you can just overthink it. You can want it to be so perfect in which y'all, my, my listeners that's been here forever, thank you, thank you guys. Y'all know we talk about this all the time. You know, I, I'm a perfectionist and that is what I was getting in my own way, you know. So when you dream it, believe it. Just you start where you are with what you have because you'll look and it'll be years down the line. Like with Walter, when he first told me about this car blog that he wanted to do, and, and mind you, he has been into cars since he was can talk. Let's say that. He knew about all the cars. My grandpa toured them, and this is what he wanted to do. And now he's he's working in the industry, but his love for it, blogging, you know, he's been putting it on hold for some years now, all because of wanting to be perfect. (laughs) So I'm going to slide this mic on over to my son, 
to touch on to first tell you about who he, a little bit about who he is and what he's studying in school and his main um, dream and um, goal. Hello, hello, hello. My name's Dion, Adion's son. Mm -hmm. um, I am a senior information systems major. I go to, uh, well, I shouldn't say exactly what college, college in PA. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, I am a published author and am currently working on more books as we speak. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my And you're in school for? I already said I'm in school for information systems oh, and a minor in Japanese. Yep. He never tells That's what people. she wanted. Yes, he never tells people about his Japanese. That's very important to have a language. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, I wanted to make this more like a conversation, you know, instead of like an interview. So I'm just going to lead off with my son right now. Um he told me he wanted to be an author at the age of eight. Most people um, look at it and say, oh, well, you're too young to do this thing. But I'm just like, OK, let's do it, you know. And I just want you to share a little bit about the challenges that you were facing as far as um, believe. Well, you kind of believed it because you were young. But then when you turn, I think, 15 or, you know. Just tell them, you know, what some of the blockages that can get in your path of stopping you from doing the thing that you know you, you, you're good at and you can do. Um, I mean, personally for me, I don't feel like I really had, like, much blockage, mm -hmm. per se, because you're, in general, just, like, a supportive person. Oh, so it's not, like, <laughs> it's not like I really had anybody telling me that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So... That's half the reason that the books were able to get out <laughs> at the age of 16 in the first place. Yeah. So um, I don't really consider myself personally like a big perfectionist. I just like to do things on my own like type mm -hmm. thing and like for myself. So I don't I don't like to rush things or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess what I'm trying to get out is like I like to write. That's. A dream of mine. If I could just make money fully off of writing, that'd be great. Um, but writing for me is more of a hobby. Mm -hmm. And I would like to make that into like a full on uh, career, like you your, your yes. thing with like making mm -hmm. car blogs mm -hmm. and stuff, cars being your passion, mm -hmm. writing being my passion. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I so mean, you would say that one of the, the key things is having somebody in your life. That can help you believe the dream. Yeah, there's or that. Or surrounding yourself with people mm. that can help you believe the dream. Yeah, you're surrounding mm. yourself with like-minded people, like-minded friends also mm -hmm. can help. Mm -hmm. But also just watching videos like these that are motivational and stuff, if you don't have those type of people in your life. Right, right. Can be a way of self-motivating, mm -hmm. I'd say. Mm -hmm. so. Now, when you... Um, I would say the blockage came like the or say distraction before we published the first book the gaming mm. so talk about how important it is to balance the distractions in your life you know as far well as so mm -hmm. i started the idea for the first two books when i was like in middle school mm -hmm. and um i didn't so i guess i was around like 14 when i started the idea for the books i think that too. 14, 13. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a big video game uh, habit, <laughs> I'd say. I like to play video games a lot, so that kind of deterred from my writing. Mm -hmm. um, and during like the summer of, what was it, like 2014 or something, I just decided to not play video games until I wrote like a certain amount of pages a day. Mm -hmm. So say I wouldn't be able to do anything like for fun until I wrote like five pages a day. Mm. So I'd start my day with the thing that I wanted right. and uh, did all the fun stuff after I finished the things that mm. I needed to do. So, so. basically discipline. Mm -hmm. So you yes. would say discipline is very important mm. um, as to pursuing your dreams and your visions. You have to determine like, you know, as far as what's more important, like 
doing, like he said, video games or really paying attention to your dreams and your visions and pursuing them um, little by little. You know, like he said, he he took and decided to write a few pages and then had his fun, you know. So it doesn't matter your age. You can discipline yourself if you want a thing. It's just all on you. So for you, Walter, now that we had a conversation, which we had a conversation earlier about, Mm -hmm. you know, the whole overthinking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, What is it that you think? Um, from this point on that you need to balance out and adjust? I think there's a few things that I need to balance out and adjust. Um, One would be focus, um, determination, Mm -hmm. uh, as well as having that discipline. Right. You know, sometimes we're stuck in our, our ways of doing things, our routines Mm -hmm. and, and basically going the safe route. Right. And, and things, Man, that's, yeah, you know, that's I think, definitely. you know, for me, you know, just about a little bit about my history, you know, growing up, mm-hmm. going the safe route, mm-hmm. uh, doing well in school, going to college, um, getting the good job, you know, so to speak. And there's nothing wrong with those paths because mm-hmm. I really find the value in the path that I went through. Right. But now it's almost you get to the point where you've accomplished those things and you've gotten the pats on the back. But mm-hmm. Now, are you patting your own self on the back because, Mm -hmm. you know, you're you're now still needing to follow the visions and the goals that have been instilled in your your heart, in your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you live that out and how do you follow that? And I think um, figuring out a a pathway to do that is the most challenging thing, but it's also the most valuable thing, Mm -hmm. because um, I think the worst thing that we can do just in life in general, is be stuck in the same place that we were the previous year. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's... Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> that's one of my greatest fears. So I think that is what pushes me forward and says, okay, mm-hmm. well, now's the time I need to move forward right. on right. that. Right. And, and whatever bad habits, old things that are, you know, squelching my dreams or, or, or blocking them, mm-hmm. uh, really alleviating those, letting mm-hmm. them go, Mm-hmm. And, and really creating a pathway forward. Right. And sometimes you can't do it by yourself. But, you know, sometimes yeah. you need to uh, seek counseling. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes you need an accountability partner. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you need to really do things differently. Yeah. Yeah, you need a dream pusher. Mm-hmm. Hey, Dion, I'm your girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so um, just like Walter said, you know, you can get so caught up in... The path as in to go to high school, finish, either get a job or go to college. And what you're doing is you are following what's laid out in somebody else's dream or vision. When you're going to a job, you're working at somebody else's dream. When you're going to college, you working towards your dream. But when you get out, if you're not uh, an entrepreneur, you're not your own boss, you're still going to college to get a degree to help somebody else's dream, which there's nothing wrong with that. We need the employees. We need the the employers. But the thing is, don't lose sight of your dream. We're all here to do a purpose. We're all here. Um, everybody is not. Uh, leadership or employer material, you know what I mean? And that's nothing wrong with that. We need everybody for the will to turn. We need each part of it for the world, world will to turn. But the thing is this, if you have it deep in your heart to be the employer or you have it deep in your heart to be the employee of the month of the year, <laughs> then you need to, as Walter said, um, and as Dion said, discipline yourself. You need to open yourself up for change, you know. Um, and that's that's basically what they both said, you know. You need to open yourself up for change, for something new, you know. You have to let go of the fear, as Walter said. Let go of the fear. Because at the end of the day, what is the worst that can happen if you walk on the other side of the door? Everything can happen. Everything can unfold in a positive way. Everything can happen exactly the way you want. Or things can happen better than you ever could dream of. If it doesn't work out, well, it could teach you the things that you need to do to make it work out. So either way, you're winning. 
as long as you don't go on the other side of the door with the attitude of failing, with the attitude of fear, you know, because failure is only going to show you a different way to do things. You know, fear is what is it? False evidence appearing real. That is fear. So these are things that's appearing real in your life, stopping you from your dream and your vision and your goals, you know. So when you dream it, believe it. So what else is it that you want to share? Like, you know, you know, Dion is 21 now and Walter is. Oh, gosh, I don't want you to say it. Oh, oh what do you want to tell your age? I'm 32. 32. <laughs> so and I'm 49. So here we go. We got three different generations that have dreamed a certain thing. And decided to pursue it. Me with the podcast show, with the books, y'all know, you know, the blog and things like that. But y'all know, I've I've discussed with y'all, I've been saying I was going to do YouTube since 2009. It's 2019 and I'm really just getting to it. So all of those years, I could have been paid. <laughs> so, Dion, mm-hmm. as far as right now, you know, what is it that... You're as far as your books, you know, what do you think allows you to take a pause? What is it that made you take a pause? Just like in general. Yeah, just in general. Well, I mean, going into college life, you kind of have a lot of extra things on your plate. Mm -hmm. So there's a bit of a lack of free time, per se. Though, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of an excuse. Because I feel like you could find enough time to do anything yeah. um, if you really want it. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, the main thing that I am kind of doing now is uh, working on my body, like, physically. Mm-hmm. So about a year and a half ago, I weighed close to 198, mm-hmm. which is extremely overweight for somebody of my stature. Mm-hmm. Um, and over the last year and a half, I've dropped from 198 to 160 Mm -hmm. and that's due to me being disciplined and constantly like not giving excuses going and working out five Mm -hmm. times a week um i told myself that if i didn't like lose a certain amount of weight my sophomore year Mm -hmm. i was going to join the track team which i did because i didn't lose the amount of weight that i wanted Mm -hmm. and because of that i've met a lot of new people that i wouldn't have met Otherwise, I've uh, gotten really into the sport of track and field, and hopefully I can qualify for landmarks next year. And also, my body has seen, well, it's the best it's ever been in my life so far. Mm -hmm. And it feels nice. It feels nice Mm -hmm. that I stuck to it, because if me a year and a half, like before I could see myself now, I think he'd be proud. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely proud. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm yeah. definitely proud. Mm-hmm. Everybody look, it's like a whole new person. <laughs> and so because you were disciplined enough, you, you put in your head that um, if I don't lose a certain amount of weight by a certain time. So mm-hmm. that's basically he set a, a standard for himself without anybody else setting a standard for himself. He set a standard as to if he doesn't reach a certain goal by a certain point. He's going to go at that goal in a different way to achieve the goal. So sometimes, again, change, changing the mindset as to reaching your goals, your visions and your dreams. If it's not working out one way, be open to be flexible for the change to achieve it another way. So he hit it another way. He joined the track team, which meant commitment, which meant that which meant discipline, you know, and in doing that. He lost and he achieved his goal. But not only did he achieve his goal, he actually gained more friends. He was able to socialize more and meet more people at his college. And he found out that he actually has a love for the sport that he was just going into to achieve a certain goal. And now this is what, your third year running track, right? Yeah, it's going to be my third year. Yeah, Mm -hmm. so all of that because... He set a standard for himself to lose a certain amount of weight. It didn't work out one way. He changed it to another way. And he's gained so extra skills in that process. And did that allow you to... And I like what you said about 
uh, as far as college and not having time, and you you court yourself and you said that's really an excuse because you mm. can make time for anything you know that you you need to do for yourself. Mm. And so as far as um, right now, you're working on your third book because he has two books out, and I'll put the links down. He has two books out now, and it's been a long gap. That was like what you were seventeen. The, yeah, mm-hmm. seventeen when we published the last book, but now he's twenty one. Um, what is it that started to spark to make you get back on your writing um, for the third book? I don't know. Um, I'd say just happenstance. I mean, now that I'm, I have a lot more free time, per se, because my hardest classes are kind of out the way. I'm mm-hmm. just taking like electives and stuff this last year. Mm-hmm. I figured might as well try and uh, get this book out. Mm-hmm. Before I'm out into the workforce and stuff right. like that, mm-hmm. well, I have the free time to do it, and also it's something that I haven't really done in a while as much as I did when I was sixteen. Right. Um, so yeah, it was really just a kind of just like a random spark mm-hmm. that I just wanted to write again, and I got a good idea for it. So mm-hmm. I I've been wanting to put out a standalone novel for a while. Right. Something that I can kind of just promote on my own without having to worry about constantly putting out more stuff. So yeah. briefly, before I get the mic back to, to, to um, I was about to call him by our family name, mm-hmm. but Walter, <laughs> before I get the mic back to you, there was something um, that bothered um, Dion about the pressure of... When he had, trust me, I talk loud enough. I don't need a mic. <laughs> but um, the pressure, it was a concern, okay? Because he put out the first two books, which is two books a part of a trilogy, which, is, of course, is missing the third book. And so, you know, I had the conversation with him about, okay, when are you going to release this third book? And his concern was the pressure of getting it, getting out there and people just wanting more. Am I right? And do you want to expand on that, or do you want me to? No, yeah, I mean, okay, I think you got it. Okay, so that was his concern as to, okay, I have these two books, mom. If if you if you push, if we go out here and we promote these books, because I was wanting to set up more uh, book signings for him, and he wasn't ready for it because of his schoolwork and stuff like that. His whole thought was, okay, what if everything just takes off? What if everything takes off and I'm not prepared for it? I'm not ready mentally for it. I'm not ready for it. You know, and that was his concern. So, again, what I'm talking on is some people are holding back on your dreams and your vision, some of you guys out there, because you're scared of success. And it's like you have this dream. You want to be successful. You see it. You want it. But for some reason, fear gets in your head as to what if it just blows up right away? What are you going to do? How are you going to handle it? You know, and if you're a person that's just used to just leading a life that's just chill, it's like it can become overwhelming. But what I say to you is, again, when you dream it, believe it. Believe that God has the path already planned out for you in to whom much is given, much is required. Yes, as in my past show, but you will be able to handle anything that comes your way. Trust and believe that. Trust and believe that. So also, I think Walter might have had, you know, some fears as to, like he said, just everything lining up perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We talked about that. Everything lining up perfectly just, and what did you talk about? I'll let you say, you know, how did it affect you with you having the thoughts of everything lining up perfectly? Yeah, I think I, it really began to cloud me. Mm-hmm. I think focusing on uh, getting everything perfect. Okay, it's like I have a blog and, oh, the website is up. Mm-hmm. But, oh, I don't have my stories ready. I need mm-hmm. to, you know, map out five stories at least, you know, Mm. for the month. And, oh, wait, it's not grammatically correct. Mm. Oh, wait, I don't know if I'm being charismatic enough Mm. or if I'm posting the right content Mm. or if people are going to be interested in it. You know, what if my layout is not right? And, you know, so getting caught up in all of those logistics Mm. and and when you get caught up into those uh, minute details, you really can't move forward. Right. You know, so it definitely blocks you. But I think you're, you're also 
too caught up in the perception of others mm. and you know mm-hmm. you want it to be successful right off the back and it's just not going to happen that way right you know it's just a gradual uh, process where you're you're ramping up to your goals i mean mm-hmm. your goals are there you're you're putting in the steps but you constantly have to put in the same amount of effort you know, in order for it to grow, in order for it to flourish. Right. And um, I think I've made some missteps in not really putting in the necessary, you know, footwork, but also uh, that consistency mm. that is necessary to to reach your, your goals. So right. um, those are some of the things that I'm, I'm rectifying, but also getting out of your way. Mm-hmm. You know, I know that um, from past experience, um you know, God puts things in your heart and your mind, mm-hmm. and and it's not by mis- mistake that these right. goals are placed into us. Mm-hmm. And so we have to trust the process. We have to trust uh, God or whoever your higher power is to move you forward, right. um, and and not really get caught up in what if I fail? Mm-hmm. You know, what if I'm too successful and then I can't manage it? You know, so I think it works on both ends of the spectrum. Right. You have to really alleviate that because failure uh really out of failure comes greater opportunities Mm -hmm. so you're you're not going to get everything right Mm -hmm. um that's just how it works Mm -hmm. but you have to know how to learn from it right definitely Mm -hmm. just like i was talking to um walter earlier and i was telling him like well he knows the history and so does my son (laughs) of all the things that i put my hands to and I stopped or it stopped or whatever like that. But um, what I was telling him was that I had to get to the point of where you balance out, is this your true passion? Because if it's your true passion, you're not going to be concerned about how much money you're going to make. You're not going to be concerned with how many followers you're going to get, how many likes, how many, you know what I mean? All of those things, how many comments you're going to get right away. What you're going to do is this is in your heart to do. You're going to just do it. As my son tells people um, when they ask him about when he first got started writing, um, you're going to just do it. You're going to just get at it, you know, and just see how it unfolds. You know, I had to take my ego out the way. I had to, you know, remove my pride and focus and have more compassion for my dream and my vision than I did my ego, you know. And when I say pride, I don't mean that in a, I mean that in a sense of just so prideful that everything has to be perfect, like Walter says, you know, and just eat some humble pie and be happy over the one listener and the the five downloads that I received in the beginning so it can get to the thousands, you know, the hundreds and the thousands and be excited, be hungry. I was so excited when I got, you know, a hundred downloads versus a thousand, you know, and you have to have that mindset that you're learning, you're growing, and just do it. Don't worry about the hiccups, like the next show will be better, or the next picture that you paint will be better, or the next dance recital will be better. Everything that you do will just get better and better, but you got to start somewhere, boo-boo. You got to start somewhere, and that is the thing. When you believe it, I mean, when you dream it, to believe it. Believe that vision, believe that goal. And now I put... Walter on the spot today so that he has nothing else to do but to just do it and get back to his blogging, get back, get his uh, YouTube channel started. And we were discussing, you know, uh, what he's going to be talking about. So if you can briefly just tell them what is it that your niche is so that anybody that's listening, when you really go for it, they can find you. Mm-hmm. What is it that you're going to really be talking about on your podcast? Cause he's going to have a podcast and he's going to have a blog. Okay. Well, he has a blog, but he's going to get back to it and he's going to get into YouTubing. Okay. So tell the listeners, what is it that you're going to be talking about? Uh, yes. So yeah, look at that big smile. It just came. <laughs> Where you want from? Yeah. So, yes, uh, let's get to the good stuff. You know what I mean? So go ahead. Uh, so basically, throughout my entire life, um, I've been really big into cars, uh, researching, uh, reading up on them, also providing people uh, advice mm-hmm. on uh, the right car to choose, uh, You know, whether it be statistics or just what is a good car to purchase. Um, always was very knowledgeable about that. Um, so I'm really... 
looking to dive right into the space mm-hmm. of one giving people valuable knowledge on the right cars to buy and automotive knowledge right. but um but also i i want to make it fun because i think when people think about cars and and houses those um intangible things or you know that we have to purchase you know just to get around it doesn't have to be um so automated it can be fun it can be um exciting so um i want to really explore from that lens Mm -hmm. you know that oh hey did you know about this or hey um or have a panel of friends you know we're talking about the the car industry that's what i do anyway we do it on the phone we do it you know over text Mm -hmm. you know oh hey did you see this or oh that that's a crap car or you know Mm -hmm. why did they do that and Mm -hmm. you know whatever it may be but also having um a different spin on it um you know if I don't know if the listeners, you know, ever seen something like Top Gear, but, you know, they make it fun. They make it creative, you know, Mm -hmm. different adventures that are in, you know, the things that they record. I want to eventually bring that to the forefront. And um, I think it's even as important that there's not enough minority uh, people in that industry, you don't, you don't see faces like me, uh, Mm -hmm. doing that type of stuff. Um, so I think I can bring it from a different perspective and, um, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited. I see how you got excited when I said, talk about it. (laughs) (laughs) He just is all a little, oh, okay. Yeah. That's that's good stuff. You know what I mean? All this good stuff. Yeah, it's all good stuff. So I'm definitely going to, like, you know, support my cousin. I call him my cousin brother because, you know, he's the only child from his mom. And, you know, um, he's like my cousin brother. You know what I mean? He's always been my little cousin brother. Right. So, um, yeah, anything y'all want to know about cars, this is your guy. I'm telling you, since four years old, we would be riding in a car. We'd be like... Um, Walter, what's that car? He'd be like, a BMW 19X56, uh, got a caliber, such and such. I don't know what it is, but he used to say it. You know what I mean? My grandpa was into cars and stuff, and he told him everything there is to know, and trust me, it stuck. So if you had visions and dreams since you was four or five years old, Hey, you might need to dust them off because that might just be your purpose. That might just be your purpose, you know, in this time space reality. So I'm going in this show because we had to what get into 30 minutes or whatever. And um, but Dion, is it something that you see? Let me tell y'all something right now, okay? These two right here, they're being real calm, laid back right now, right? But that's only because they little might be a little camera shy. But on the real, they be they don't be wilding out now. They ain't, they not ratchet, but they they really reserved. But normally, especially this one right here, <laughs> he is just really, really being on his calm. And I'm like, really, really, <laughs> this is how you gonna act? <laughs> it's okay though. It's all right. So, what is it that you want to um, talk about? You want to say? <laughs> you want to say anything else uh, as far as? your books or you want to let's say encourage them in any type of way the encouragement if i let's say this if i was not your mother if i was not the dream pusher right Mm -hmm. and um or maybe think about any of your friends that you are encouraging you know what is it that you want to say to the listeners to encourage them to go after the dreams and that they have Uh, oh no uh, let's say take the first step. I guess mm-hmm. it's uh, not not every day is promised, and the thing that you want to do could be done by somebody else tomorrow, and you'll feel like you missed your chance. Mm. So that's, that's take true. the first step and dream it to believe it. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah, yeah, when you dream it, believe it. Dream yeah. it, believe it. Mm-hmm. What she said. It is. <laughs> <laughs> like <that. laughs> Yeah, take the first step. Like he said, just take the first step. Um, don't worry about having the perfect. Like, look at right. You see my mic? It's a little torn up right there. But, hey, it's working. <laughs> I need, I didn't know it was torn too. I pulled it out. Pulled it out, but it's working. You know, things like that. Don't get caught up. 
if it if it works, don't fix it. When you when you're able to fix it, when you're able to upgrade, then do that. But for right now, use the tools that you have to get to where you need to get. Okay. Um, any last minute, any encouragement that you would like to give our listeners? Uh, yeah, I would say get over yourself. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Get out of your own way. Mm. Yeah, I tell them forward. that all the time. Mm, tell myself because that. you you can't. You're not going to be buried with your your problems and your frustrations. You're just yeah. it's over at that right. point. Yeah. So yeah. so you have to do it while you're living, while you're healthy, while you're in any. Sometimes you're not. You know mm-hmm. you you may be um, living in body, but right. your spirit needs work. So you have to correct that and mm-hmm. and get on the right path and right. just get over yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, you can follow my Instagram, uh, Cams yeah. three Cams three sixty. Yeah. Uh, so you can find my information there. So. Okay. What else can they follow? Can they follow the blog yet, or you want to? Yeah. Work on? So the the blog, um, and this is you know an exclusive. It's going to mm-hmm. be called Kinetic Auto three sixty. Mm-hmm. So you can uh, follow that as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kinetic. Y'all hear that? Kinetic, Kinetic Auto 360. Kinetic mm-hmm. Auto 360, guys. He's going to help you get a 360 mindset on the way you view cars and how they work and what's good for you and what's not. Yeah. What's, uh, they used to call for it, found on a dead road, but hey, we got it for it and it's working just fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's going to give you that information and, um, I'm going to make sure that y'all definitely stay up on it as he gets things together. I'm going to put some links in the descriptions for y'all as well. Um, and what else? When are you going to start your YouTube channel? Uh, YouTube channel, I would say that's probably a f- three months out. Three months out? Three months out, yeah. He in his head. He in his head. <laughs> three months, really? Three months? He just sat up here and told me earlier he got a ton of videos recorded. But what are you going to do? He's going to be like, wait a minute, I don't know. That look, they don't look so good. I mean, I don't want that one. Get out your way, Walter. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get over yourself, Walter. Right. You said it. Yeah. I didn't. Hey, hey. Get, right. get over yourself uh-huh. and just put them videos out there. Hey, I'm going to make sure. What's, gonna, what's the name of the uh, YouTube channel? Or did you create that yet? Yeah, it's created. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look, he don't want to tell y'all. <laughs> he don't want to tell y'all. All right, so I'm putting them on the spot right now, y'all. Give them the name of the YouTube channel. And he already has some YouTube videos recorded. So I'm saying I challenge you that by, oh, you, you get ready to go home. Because we're, we're, we're not home. We just had a family reunion. So we all not home right now. Um, so I'm going to give you two days. I'm going to give you Wednesday. The day is Sunday. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you till Wednesday to put the first video up. Okay. Tell them the name of your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube channel is the same as the uh, the Instagram, uh, Cams360. So. Cams360, okay? Yeah. And that's spelled K-A-M-S. K-A-M-S. Y'all hear that? K-A-M-S360. Mm-hmm. So look for that YouTube channel. As well on Wednesday to see the first video that he's going to post. Okay, this is this is us putting him on the spot. He putting himself on the spot because he right here, and that's why we doing this today. Yeah. So, um, Dion. Mm-hmm. All right. So tell them the name of your books. Your first two books. Oh, first two books. First book is named Guardian Franklin Story. You can find it on Amazon. Mm-hmm. And the second book is called. Guardian, a hero, mm-hmm. and there's a third one in works. I won't tell you the name because I don't want it to be stolen. Yeah, but <laughs> just know that it is more sci-fi than anything that I've written before. Right. So, yeah. yeah. And and the second book uh, might be under Guardian. Uh, was it Medusa? Son of Medusa. Son of Medusa. I think that was what it's mm-hmm. under too. So yeah, you can just um, Google. Zamir Dion Williams. If y'all Google him, then all this stuff will come up and his um, book signings and stuff. You can watch his videos and stuff like that. But it's on Barnes and Nobles as well and a few other online stores that you can buy the book. And tell them the age group. What do you think what age group should purchase the books? 13 and up. Okay. 13 and up. 13 and up. But purchase these books. So there you have it, guys. Um, 
two entrepreneurs, well, three entrepreneurs, okay, in our own rights. And what I want to say before I close out, as I was discussing with Walter, is that your occupation can be transferred into your purpose. So in other words, Walter is already working with a consultant firm. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you know, one of the things that he's been hesitant on is consulting on his own. And we just discussed earlier, like, I told him, like, okay, just do exactly what you're doing for the consulting firm. Mm -hmm. But just do it for yourself. And a lot of us, we want to branch out and do our own thing. And we just act like, okay, we don't know how to do it because we're so caught up on thinking that we got to do something else or do more or learn more. Start with the knowledge that you have. If you want to branch out and you want to be a consultant on your own, take the skill set that you're already using with your occupation, with your career, with your job, and transfer them over to your own business. It's very simple, guys. It's very simple, but we get caught up in our head, you know? We get caught up in our head. Stop getting caught up. Get over yourself, okay? And I'm just going to leave you all with that thought. Whatever you're doing with your occupation, your job, and your career, all of those skills can always be transferred over to your entrepreneurship. Trust me, all those 30-plus jobs that I had, I use every last one of those skills to do the things that I'm doing now. Writing, podcasting, blogging, YouTubing, all of those came from different skill sets that I used in past occupations. I just put them together. Okay, so you can do the same thing, guys. So with that, all that be said, this is. Oh, first, I want to thank you all for purchasing the books. I really, really love you guys. Thank you for always coming back and tuning in and make sure that you subscribe to Chronicles of Living um, channel on YouTube. Subscribe and make sure you share this podcast with any one of your friends and your families. You never know who can who this can benefit. Okay, guys. Thank you again for everything that you do. I love, love, love you guys. You just you just don't know. Kisses from afar. This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, the world, and some real bullshit. And this is Walter Scott Williams. <laughs> and Dion Williams. All right. And we're signing off. And this is Chronicles of Living podcast show and TV channel for you guys. Love, peace, and hair grease. Deuces.